Welcome to another video from inzara.com. In today's video, we will be talking about the stochastic technical indicator. First, we will talk about the calculations or the theory behind this technical indicator briefly, and then we will talk about how you can use our template to calculate this technical indicator for any stock that you're interested in just by typing in the ticker symbol. Now, let's talk about the concept first. I have to illustrate how the calculation works, I have some dummy data here. So I have the trading days and then I have the high, low and closing prices for a certain random stock. Now, this calculation for the stochastic involves many layers. So uh, primarily, the first thing we need to understand is that there are two lines here. Um, the stochastic indicator is made up of two lines. So percentage K and then the percentage D. So first we will calculate the percentage K. In order to calculate percentage K, I have listed the formula here. You can see that it uses first a simple moving average of something, right? So I've broken it down by saying, let's first calculate K, which I have here in this column, K. And K is nothing but these two, um, this divided by this. So that's why we have to start from this column first. So the first calculation we do is close minus lowest low of a certain number of periods. So you can see here that I have done E17, which is the closing price, $249.07, minus the minimum or the lowest low. Lowest low is for the last 14 periods, what has been the lowest low? So that's how I calculate that first. So that is 1972, 19.72. Then I calculate my second component, highest high minus lowest low. This uses the highest of the highs in the last 14 periods minus lowest of the lows in the last 14 periods. I end up with 20.61. Now K is nothing but take the 19.72 divide, divided by 20.61 and then multiplied by 100. I have my K. So that's what I've listed here as the formula for K. Now, once we have K, the percentage K is somewhat straightforward. So the percentage K is nothing but take the average of the K's for the last three periods. So percentage K is a simple moving average of the K over three periods. Now, for the, that's the percentage K, which is an important line. And then the percentage D is the the last part of the calculation we need to do the percentage d is nothing but it's a simple moving average on the percentage k itself so it's a smoothening it's smoothing the percentage k itself and so that's why we do a simple moving average of percentage k for three periods okay so that's it so we have calculated the percentage k and percentage d if we do this every single day then we have our technical indicator trend over time now, before we talk about uh, our Excel template, just to, as you are noticing here that there are multiple input parameters here, right? So what is the, you know, the 14 period? So can that be changed? Yes. Uh, and then we do the percentage K as a simple moving average over three periods. Can that be changed? Yes. Percentage D is done over three periods. Can we do it? Yes. So these are all the input parameters that we can provide to the template to control it. But these values, the 1433, are the commonly used and are, they are the default values whenever you use the stochastic indicator in any of the trading platforms. So that's why we use that in the illustration here. So now let's move into our Excel template portion of the video. This is our Excel template where you can type in a stock symbol and instantly get the calculation of stochastic. So let's try Apple, AAPL. There we go. It's going to take a couple of seconds there. And now we have the stochastic indicator calculated for Apple stock symbol live from the service um, right now. And I'm recording it during the weekend, so it doesn't really bring in minute by minute data. And that's because we don't have um, the market open right now. As soon as we typed in the data, you saw that the price is displayed uh, on the top left here and then the change in price um, also. And then we have some controls over here in the top. The controls are how much history do you want to see in the chart? So do I want to see six months of history? Do I want to see three months of history? So I can actually control that easily. 
I can also change the interval of measurement so I can look at it by weekly versus daily trend. So I can change that or also monthly if you would like. Now, as we select those, the, 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 the chart updated and you saw that the blue dashed line indicates source. What is source? Source is nothing but here. This is the closing price that we are you know displaying you can choose to change it to another uh, price thing so i can say price high price or open price for the uh, stock that we're looking at and the default is closing price so we'll leave it like that then as i mentioned about those three input parameters the k period the d and then the smoothing of the um, k percentage k later which is called 1433 and you can change the parameters by typing in a different number and then the charts will update. Now, let's talk about the chart itself. So you have the, the blue line indicating the source and then you have the uh, dashed blue line indicating the source and then a solid blue line indicating the percentage K and then the solid orange line indicating percentage D. These, as I mentioned, these two lines are what is the stochastic indicator. Now, when we talk about um, trading signals that can be used or can be interpreted based on the stochastic indicator, this is based on what I've read in the article here I've linked in TradingView um, and uh, what I've read on the web. This is what it says. A signal strategy could be based on when the stochastic indicator goes below or above a certain threshold, right? So by default, um, we have put the range to be between 20 and 80 and you see the gray I mean the shaded area between 20 and 80 um, on the x-axis you will see 0 to 100 um, but 20 to 80 is shaded in a certain color and that is the neutral zone and if our the orange line goes above right so when the orange line goes above this maximum threshold of 80 you will see that there is a sell signal and if the orange line is going below the shaded region which means it goes below 20 then we have a buy signal so that's the um, signal strategy that could be interpreted from the stochastic indicator and in order to change it you can unhide it to go to help sheet if you would like your own strategy based on the technical indicator this column column a b where i have the signal this is where i have an if formula or a function formula using the if function to determine when uh, what is a sell and what is a buy this is what you will change if you want to come up with your own sell buy trading signal strategy to wrap this up we started this video with a brief introduction to the calculations behind the stochastic uh, technical indicator. Then we saw how you can type in a stock symbol here and then calculate the stochastic for any stock that you're interested in. We talked about all these controls and uh, parameter control and the interactive control you have on the chart to update according to your needs. And we also talked about the trading signal strategy that could potentially be used using the stochastic indicator. Now, if you have not watched any of our previous videos, please check out the playlist. This is video number 23 of the Excel for Stock Market series. And all these templates are available for free to download from inzara.com. We will provide the links to those in the video description as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in another video about another Excel template for stock market.